All right, YouTube. I got uh, <clears throat> nothing too special, but it's the uh, Char Gorilla, the uh, professional. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, not really too professional, but it's a Char Gorilla uh, smoker pro is what they call it. Um, you know, it's it's not an $800 smoker, but it's uh, I'm I'm kind of getting it to <clears throat> be something a little better than what it would be stock. Um, there's some modifications I'm making to it. I don't have the firebox on the side yet. I, I just picked it up. That'll be in the next video after I get that modified. But you know, here's here's some of the modifications I I made. I noticed some people would uh, you call it, they would take and show their uh, their modifications, but the only bad thing is they would never show it lit, so I can see how the smoke comes out or you know if it actually sealed it up. Uh, what I ended up doing was. Uh, kind of I don't know if you can kind of see how I uh, I notched it out right here in the middle down to right here and I just did like a little bracket or some aluminum from a uh, local hardware store you can see where the metal's notched out there and uh, I kind of wanted to make it more of a dual purpose so I could still use it as a you know, regular grill but then I could just convert it back over to a smoker if I wanted to uh, I'm going to be putting a uh, dryer vent here that comes down to here to keep the smoke down by the grate uh, I've seen a lot of people clamp them on up there <clears throat> so I'll be uh, I'll be doing that here shortly uh, and like I said some of the other some of the other holes that need to be filled there's a lot of smoke that still come out between these right here and uh, obviously back here behind the the uh, where the cover meets the back of the grill it leaks a little bit uh, but that's where I'm going to grind it again and you know get it down to bare metal instead of this powder coat so I can get that adhesive to stick. <clears throat> now I use that furnace, uh, I don't know what that's like a graphite rope or I, I'm not exactly sure what kind of material it is but I know it's uh, uh, it's the same stuff that would be used on a wood furnace or a wood stove uh, in your house and, and I actually lit it this morning already just to see how it was going to do uh, and, it, and it seemed to seal pretty good. I mean before it was just you know this thin piece of metal right here would overlap right down here and you know I just had a whole bunch coming out right here was a little different because there already was a lip uh, in the whole front area right here and uh, now that I I kind of uh, you know grinded that down it was able to adhere the uh, the rope to it so now this rope sits perfectly right on this lower uh, ledge there and then obviously this ledge right here all the way around here and then after like I said after I get this grinded back here it'll be all sealed back there uh, some of the other modifications I'm planning on doing are uh, you can see where the it comes equipped so you can buy the wood burner uh, wood burner box next to the wood box wire box <clears throat> a lot of different terms I've heard but uh, all you gotta do is unbolt these and mount it up and I got a couple of brackets I'm going to put here that hold it out instead of put all the weight on this thing bending out. Uh, and one of the things I actually did for that was uh, I'm working on a piece of metal right now that is going to go up from here down and it's going to make it so the heat don't escape or the uh, smoke don't escape to over here. And th that might be one of the reasons why I actually take the smokestack and run it over here and open or just you know I mean one of the I, I'm, I'm thinking about doing that uh, <clears throat> either that or just sealing up this one right here just getting a piece of metal bolting it over poking a hole over here and moving that smokestack over here and like I said that way I can get away with you know having some of the some of the stuff a you know, $800 smoker would have for the price of a, you know um, 100 bucks $200 right here <clears throat> and uh, you know, like I said, I've cooked a few times on here. But uh, let me uh, let me fire it up, get the smoke rolling, and we'll uh, we'll be right back to show you the, uh, the, the what exactly uh, it looks like with the smoke rolling and how the sides are sealed. All right, YouTube, back here. It's been about uh, uh, 20 minutes, 15 minutes. I I uh, left that vent open. Now I kind of closed it now, but. Uh, and I had this open just to get it up the temperature. I know this 
ain't exactly the best uh, thermometer because it is the one that came with it. Um, then we're seeing the next modification of the drill hole here, and hole here. Uh, and like I said, I'm gonna, I'll be using this smoker if it works out really good for me, and I, uh, you know, I, I, I really get into it, and I, well, I've been doing it a lot with a regular charcoal grill, and obviously in the winter time it's a little hard here in you know, Wisconsin, it's a little cold, but uh, I got, uh, let's see. I got quite a bit of smoke rolling there. So there is smoke in there. Uh, you know, and I guess if I close it, though, I don't know. Really, I just kind of push as much smoke as I can in there. You can see the rope for the most part. There's a couple leaky spots. Right here you might see a little. But the back I didn't seal. So especially on the corners, you can see. See, in the middle it's not so bad because it's kind of touching back there. It's pretty tight. But like I said, this corner needs to be sealed. So next step is to uh, take the cover back off, grind away a little edge so it's nice bare metal and glue some of that rope back there. Uh, but other than that, I mean, you can see that it's not coming out the sides anymore. It comes out these little holes right here. I mean, which is good, I guess, because that's below the food tray. Yeah. And uh, the same with this side here. You can see it coming out them little holes. So the rope trick did work. Uh, you know, it sits perfectly right on the edge, so I mean, it works. Uh, it was a little, like I said, a little bit here and there. And uh, this is, you can see, how did I do that? It definitely keeps the smoke at the level it uh, probably should be at. But, uh, I don't know, I guess if anybody's got any ideas or anything else that can help me out too, I'd appreciate it if you leave a little comment and let me know. Uh, I know I've seen people use some of that sealant and then mount this thing back up here in a smoke stack uh, and you know the it's it's thicker than the uh, the Brinkman I mean it's not as thick as a you know quarter inch uh, but like I said there's that corner that's really pushing out uh, I guess I could use tin foil uh, this one's a little tighter so I don't use as much or I guess I could just tuck some rope in there every time I if I don't feel like doing it that way but uh, it's like I said it's just a couple little minor things but uh, you know I mean that rope seems to be doing its job uh, that, that right there you, yeah you see a little bit coming out of there but uh, like I said I mean it's better than look at the charcoal grill some of the things I did because I heard a lot of people say when they use that the whole kit that uh, rope that like this stuff right here uh, this is actually one of the pieces of metal and you can see where I grinded it away up to right here put it on there I wanted to check it after 24 hours to see if it was going to hold and I pulled part of it away a little too soon but now this other part is I mean it's it's on there uh, you can pull it off I suppose you just give it a good yank but uh, and this is the angle iron I use here that's three quarter inch uh, around each side uh, more of just a piece of aluminum really uh, but yeah like I said I mean other than that back corner right there that you can see I guess the winds coming more or less out of the east so it's blowing it forward but uh, well, it gives it the illusion of down the side it's you know, like, like I said, for the money, it's not a bad little thing. You know, I figured I'd put a, uh, figured I would uh, put a review on here, so you know, people like people like me looking to see how it turned out. Um, you know, like I said, it, it turned out pretty good, and uh, you know, I mean, it's it's serving its purpose. It, uh, but like I said, when I notched it out. See that, but I notched it out specifically for these uh, little handles right here so I can still use it to raise and lower the tray down there. But that tray just comes right out, too. So, uh, other than that, like I said, the other modification I'm going to be making, which is uh, I guess it would be a dampener or something all the way across. Uh, well, like I said, thanks, thanks for watching. I uh, 
you liked what I did. If uh, you got any comments or questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll take uh, any advice I get to I, I use. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's you know it's one of them deals where it's a it's a smoker I bought that was cheaper and I modified it. So there you have it. That's the char grill or uh, I think it's the uh, I know it's not a professional, but it's the char grill or professional smoker uh, <laughs> with that optional side fire box. Which uh, again, that'll be on my next YouTube video. I'll fire that one up. All right. Thanks for watching.